We're thrilled to invite all of you from many places, actually from around the world, coming from as far as the United Kingdom and Nigeria, and uh, uh, throughout the uh, United States and South America, uh, from Ecuador and many places. We really welcome you to Salt Lake City. Uh, and to begin our conference, I'd like to introduce uh, Lou Kramer, who is the founder and CEO of the uh, uh, Utah uh, World or the World Trade Center uh, here in Utah, uh, to welcome you here to Salt Lake City. Well, thank you, Dr. Price. Welcome to Utah. It's delightful to have folks from all over the planet here. I have the job, I think, to convince you that this really is the place. That's what Brigham Young said in 1847, that this is the place. It's the crossroads of the West. If you look at a map today because of the way the railroads and the Colorado River and Sierra Nevadas go, it really is the crossroads of the West. But we believe that bringing a talent like what you, what you bring with us today makes it the crossroads of the world as well. It's an honor to be here. As you know to the program, I'm a JD, but boy, that's like putting a target on your back and a group of lawyers, a group of doctors. I have disclosure, I've not practiced law for 30 years, and I am the proud son of a mother who was a public health nurse for 60 years all over the world. I, my brother, Joe Kramer, some of you may know, is a pediatrician up at the LDS Hospital. I'm the father of a pediatric anesthesiologist in Washington, D.C., and I have four fabulous Nieces, uh, nephews who are doctors all over the United States. So hopefully that's a little bit of bona fides about why I feel so delighted that you're here because medical advances and particularly extreme affordability and the surgical issues you're looking at is a key part of what we in Utah believe is one of our competitive advantages going forward. Um, and I think one of the extreme affordability is having me here because I'm a nonprofit person. The only reason I show up at work every day at the World Trade Center is to encourage Utah companies to get their products and services into the interna international marketplace, to, per for, to motivate, to educate, and facilitate international trade from this state. And I should say what an honor it is to be with some of my friends in the medical world because as Utah goes forward as an international destination, I want to assure those visitors who are not from Utah that you are in a global location right now. This state is the only state in America for the last 10 years which has increased its international exports every year. If I were to ask you which state in America exported over $19 billion just in goods last year, would you guess a small state in the Intermountain region without a seaport? Utah exported over $19 billion in goods. And services are probably another 40% on top of that, which are hard to measure. The number one product we, we sell are overseas are primary metals. We've done that for 150 years. We'll probably do next to it for the 150 years going forward. But for those of you who are Utahns and those who want to see it, we have the largest open pit copper mine on the planet out here in the Western Hills. And we say, you know, our, our present is in the Western Hills, in the mines, M-I-N-E-S, in the Western Hills. But the future of this state is in the mines, the M-I-N-D-S, the mines, in the Eastern Hills, being this campus, the University of Utah, being Weber State, being Brigham Young University, being Utah State University, being the bright mines that are leading the second largest export area in this state, which is in the high-tech area. And medical devices, bioscience are a key part of that. Salt Lake has been determined to be one of the top six biomedical device uh, centers in the United States. Within a mile of where we're sitting right now, there have been more companies spun off by the University of Utah into the technology world than by any other university in America. About three years ago, we were behind MIT. About two years ago, we were tied with MIT. And for the last two years, the University of Utah leads this nation in spinning off high-tech companies. Many, many of them, as I say, are just out our back window here and are high-tech, biotech companies that are particularly focused on the topic of this uh, wonderful conference today. Well, I am blessed to see daily how our state's own resource, medical resources are, le are leading change, innovation, and some really cool uh, advances in Utah, the nation, and the world. This, I appreciated one of the topics today being the global lab. Utah, in many ways, is a global lab for what's happening. Let me tell you one of the reasons why that's the case. I have said that we are a global uh, destination because we're doing such a great job in creating global exports. And for those of you who are not involved in the business world every day, 
which is probably a really good thing because you're, <laughs> you're saving lives and alleviating suffering. And I'm just out there trying to keep Utah companies and, and jobs going. But you should know that exports, Utah's exports in the biotech area and the, high, and the science area creates Utah jobs that are higher paying, longer lasting, and higher skilled than any other jobs we have in this state. The, creating these jobs are an important part of what we do. Uh, we also, for those of you who are going to be here for this beautiful weekend, and again, I thank you from Ecuador and Canada and others that have brought such good weather to us this weekend, we have what we call the Mighty Five down south, which are the five national parks, Zions, Bryce, Canyonlands, Canyon Reef and Arches, I think, Capitol Reef and Arches, which attract, the state attracts about 22 million visitors a year. Somewhere between having 22 million people that come visit us and having this great, smart bioscience world, there's got to be a combination that makes sense for us in, in creating the kind of technology this conference is intended to focus on today. We invite you to come to play and decide to stay because there are lots of good things happening here. Let me just say another talent that we have in this state and why we welcome our guests from Egypt and other places is because we have more speakers of two languages per capita than any other state in America more bilingual people than any other place in this, uh, this country. The old joke is somebody three, called three, speaks three languages called trilingual. Somebody who speaks two languages is bilingual. Somebody who speaks one language is an American. That's not the story in Utah. In fact, as an example, those of our guests who come from China know that there are more Mandarin speaking classes for children between kindergarten and 12, 12th grade in Utah than anywhere else in the, in the country. One third of all the Mandarin dual immersion cl classes in this country are in Utah. We also have similar classes in Portuguese and French and Spanish and, and uh, soon to be in uh, German and Arabic. So we are making a difference here because we are committed to international. <clears throat> in fact, I have to leave this conference regretfully a little earlier because the ambassador of Belarus is here and we want him to know about more things that are happening in Utah that can be of value to him in, Bel in Belarus. I also should share the fact, and one of the reasons I'm so excited about what's happening today with, that uh, Catherine and Scott and others are putting on, is that Utah and the University of Utah in particular is becoming a real magnet for bringing visiting delegations to see what's this medical revolution taking place in the great state of Utah. We are proud, in fact, that even President Obama mentioned Intermountain Healthcare, for example, in his State of the Union with the Mayo Clinic. Am I right on that, Ray? The Intermountain Healthcare, and if you can't believe the President of the United States, who can you believe, right? He has said uh, that if every state in the Union had a health system like Intermountain Healthcare, there would not be a health crisis in America today. In fact, we're going next month to Israel on a trade mission to Israel and Palestine with Governor Herbert. We're taking about uh, 45 uh, individuals there to see why. We, how we can make connections with what we call startup nation. Israel has got some really smart high-tech companies. Yeah. We have some great platforms in Utah for them to expand. We're going to try and make these connections there. Just a couple weeks ago, uh, we hosted, we're always hosting uh, guests from China. They, this group mo and most particularly came f uh, looking at healthcare ways that they can improve what's happening in their province. They're from a province that has, that's like a state in China, has 100 million people I said, how many hospitals do you have? And they said, we have 18,000 hospitals, and we have done our homework. We've been to only two places in America to figure out how to improve what we're doing. We've been to Minnesota for the Mayo Clinic. We're coming to Utah to talk to the University of Utah and Intermountain Healthcare. So you are at, as Brigham Young said, you are at the place, the right place. So I, this, this conference will be exciting to have you as part of that. Um, I am also wanted to say that uh, that I'm excited about all the talent that's in this room. Uh, some of my real heroes are there. Scott Leckman, you'll hear from, is he has been to India, just got back. Scott and I work together in Rotary, whether it's on polio, whether it's on clean water. It happens here in Utah. And Tom Thackeray, uh, just there's a new chemical building that was dedicated two weeks ago, another Rotarian who had just come back doing po polio work. I think, was he with you, Scott, in India? More of that to come. But that's an example of the outreach we're doing to the world. Um, from this small state in the, in the mountain west without a seaport. Well, we know a lot of this happens because of the talents and the brains that are here. I'm also excited because it's not just, as we know, the heads, the minds, whatever it is that makes a difference, but it's the heart. And there's some wonderful hearts here in Utah that are making a difference. Um, 
and you're going to hear today from folks who are doing this not just because it's the, the profitable thing to do, but it's the right thing to do because we know in our heart and soul it's the appropriate thing to do as well. Um, Utah was settled by people that came as a community. Oregon was settled by small uh, you know, individuals that went to Gold Rush in California. We were settled by uh, people who cared about each other and helping each other make things happen. So we're grateful that you're going to be here as we lean into change. I know you're on the side of the angels. We welcome you with our heart, our soul, and our mind. And we congratulate you for all you're doing. And you, we're going to have a wonderful time together. Thank you so much. Go Utah. Go global. Go affordable health. Thank you very much. Thank you.